But yeah, I have a question for you all. Um, what what is what is this character? Like I understand, so we have our um, gun mage from Final Fantasy X too, right? We have our gun mages right here. Kamari is a blue mage. Then we have question mark. I don't know what this one is. Then we have your, if I zoom in, then you have your Final Fantasy XIV blue mage. Then you have your blue mage from FF5. Then you have Strago. It's not, I thought really, it's okay. It's one of the blue mage of FF6. Then we have Quistis, a blue mage. Then we have Quina, a blue mage. And also you have the blue mage of Final Fantasy Tactics. But what is this one? I don't understand. Maybe, like, is there blue... Does Final Fantasy XI have blue mages? One point... Seven randomness. Zero... Oh, zero. oh okay, okay. So it's like point seven. Just okay to finish the seed... A seed this year, then finally get some of my seed. Ah, oh, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Hi, Blair. Uh, these are all pre-made. I did not make these. They're all pre-made. Uh, so I don't know why they picked Strago. I feel like Gao is the blue mage of FF6, but also Rel is kind of also the blue mage of FF6, so... That's probably 11. Yeah, yeah. Dano Nisius. Uh, hello. That's 11. Okay, confirm. Final Fantasy 11 is the only Final Fantasy I haven't played. Therefore, I, I don't think... I mean... I want that glam in Final Fantasy XIV, please, because that looks like a cool glam. Um, oh, I hate this music. Not a real blue mage. Okay. So we're going to start with Final Fantasy blue mages. I feel like... Let's think. FF1, FF2, no. FF3 didn't have blue mage. FF4? No blue mage. No. Well, no. Not even the... the no. FF5, obviously, we have them. FF6, we have one out of the three. FF7. FF7, I guess, enemy skill, but everybody could have it, so there's no dedicated blue mage. FF8, obviously, our best girl, Quistis. FF9, Quina. FF10, Kamari. We have 11. FF12, again, everybody can be... Well, FF12 doesn't have enemy skills. FF12 doesn't have any blue magic. It's got green magic, though. So, you know, there's that. Um, FF13, no, well, no, I, I guess that's more Beastmaster, but it doesn't really count either. Uh, FF15, no blue magic. Yeah, I guess that's it. I guess there is no other blue mage. Wow, blue mages are underrepresented. This, um, this blue mage here is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, that's right. Um, one of the best, I guess, spoilers. One of the best blue mage of all of this group. Strago is full of... I'm going to be very honest with you. The two times I played Final Fantasy VI, I did not even touch Strago. Gal can pretty much... Yeah, but the rages are blue... Well, I guess they're not really... He's more like a... Um, I guess if, if you want to be specific, Gao is more like a copycat kind of mime, right? Because you have to encounter the monster. No... Man, I just need to go and play Final Fantasy VI again. <laughs> That's where we're sitting. Hats face, Vaughn and S tier. Vaughn is S tier in all categories. <clears throat> Slash ban Hats face. Whoops, I'm actually typing. Hold on. No, I'm kidding. Hats face, thank you very much for the 14 month resub. Thank you for that continued support. How are you? Um, no. <laughs> no, no. No, Vaughn just. He, there's no blue magic in FF12, so therefore your your point does not stand. I'm sorry. But hi, I hope you're doing well. Strago was in your main party when you finished a re I You found nonstop in your rando seed, but he was oh no. Did you screenshot it? I would love to see that. Um I usually I usually go with Lock, Celeste. I, I I feel like I'm boring when I play FF6. Because I'm like your Setzer user, Celeste, Terra, Lock. Like, I'm boring like that. I don't, I'm not a fan. Well, Edgar's a good character, but I don't really use him. So, I don't know. 
Anyways, shall we? Told you there would be salt. Yeah, I mean, Hatspace brought in the salt with Vaughn. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you should post it in the Final Fantasy Tactic channel on Discord. Okay, so let's get started, friends. A gun mage from Final Fantasy X-2. So if you're unfamiliar with Final Fantasy X-2, um, the story's okay. Like, I, I'm not... I actually really enjoy X-2. Um, the story's okay, but Ten Two shines for the battle system. And there's a job system where you can switch out the job that you're on at any given time as long as you have it equipped, basically. Which is a very, very good combat. Like, Final Fantasy Ten Two. sometimes I miss it, I want to play it, and I'm like, no, I'm not doing this to myself. Dress fears. There's some very unique dress fears. There, you have your thief and your warrior and your white mage and your black mage, right? And we're going to talk about this a little bit later on because we're actually going to do a tier list for all of this. But then you got your beast masters. You have your uh, your songstress. You have your psychic or, or psychers or whatever. Uh, your lady luck. And then the way that Final Fantasy X to brought in blue mages is they made it by bullet magic. So... Yes, you um, you had to learn the skills, but blue, sorry, uh, gun mages had the ability to learn enemy skills and uh, and then use it as blue magic or blue bullet or whatever. So I thought, honestly, this outfit, hmm, hold on, let me find it closer. Like their outfits are absolutely amazing. Final Fantasy X to gun mage. It's one of actually my favorite dress sphere in the whole game um i have to say like that outfit I'm trying to find it I'm trying to get like a full screen of this please it's pixelated but you'll see it here look at this look how unique this outfit like looks they all have like you know they all have the side skirt they all have like the circle right because all of their outfits have specific elements that repeats through the outfit but like the outfit is cool like i would have given everything to have these pants grown up paints pants fantastic um and and just gun mage as a whole was a fantastic class it was really really well designed for a blue mage class i'm gonna put it s tier i would put it a tier but if you have played last mission in a final fantasy 10 2 which i feel very bad for you if you have i have i have the plat Gun Mage is the best class to play in last mission. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's all I'm going to say about that. <clears throat> Just, if you play... If you play last mission, if you find the Gun Mage Dress Sphere or the Dark Knight Dress Spheres, keep it, guard it with your life, and that's how you're going to beat it. Otherwise, you won't beat it. Unless you're a pro. Oh. Just saying. Okay, we have Kamari. I have mixed feelings about Kamari. I I enjoy the character a lot, but we're not really looking at the character. We're looking at the usefulness of the character as a functional blue mage. He's pretty average. Okay, he's got Nova. That's pretty cool. Um, he's got his own dedicated fight in the game where he gets to... Um, to, to learn and, well, learn almost all of the blue magic if you haven't done that already, but he gets... It's real... That fight is actually really hard if you haven't, you know, played with Kamari. And a lot of people don't use Kamari. Kamari is kind of your, like, jack-of-all-trade. You can have him a little bit everywhere. He can be Titus, he can be Orin, he could be your early Riku until you get Riku. Kamari plays a very fun role to me, so it really depends how you build him. If your Kamari sucks, it's because you made him bad. It's on you. <laughs> it's on you, the player. But I, I want to say that he doesn't feel that unique to me. Like, what's a Lancet? Lancet does, does not scale. Like, Lancet is absolutely not good damage. It doesn't heal you for... It's not even worth using. As far as blue mages go... He's a blue mage. As a limit overdrive removes the fun of blue magic. I thought so too, because then you're you're relying on it. I mean, okay, don't get me wrong. Was it Mighty Guard? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's probably the best white uh, blue magic, but uh, Kimari is a character. Eh. How's it going, Boat? <laughs> Plus he's blue. I mean, 
I like Kamari as a character. I like his character growth. There's not a whole lot, but I like his character growth. Bum, 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 bum. Um... He, and, and, then, and then in Final Fantasy X, too, they just tank the character, unfortunately. But yeah, that's my thoughts on Kamari. Literal blue mage. Yeah, he's literally blue. Everything is blue. You feel called out? Well, um, okay. I'm going to need chat's help here. How is blue mage in Final Fantasy XI? I'm going to put it C because I have no experience with it. I don't know. I don't know anything about how the blue mage in Final Fantasy XI works. I uh, eleven is S tier, no question for you. So can you can you elaborate on that? Because I would love to change that ranking. I have no personal opinion on FF 12s blue mage as or FF 11s blue mage because I've never played eleven. So tell me more. As an avid FF eleven player, I must say that eleven is a great uh, blue mage. They have to fight monsters to learn the abilities. And set the spells what they are trying to do. Melee, ma melee magic AoE is S tier, hands down. Okay. I can't... I can't put it S tier because I haven't experienced it. But based on what you're telling me, that seems pretty A tier for somebody that hasn't experienced it. Would that be fair? I can't put S tier to something I, I haven't... I haven't played myself. But the concept seems really good. Thank you for explaining it. But I'm not familiar with it. Dum, dum, dum. You should play 11 just to experience it. You know, I downloaded Final Fantasy 11 once, uh, and then I logged in the game, and then I never went back. Because I was like, well, I might as well just play Final Fantasy 14. Which brings us to our next one. Blue Mage and Final Fantasy 14. Do we even go there? What a meme class. What, um... You're playing Final Fantasy XI right now? And what, cl what class do you main? Oh, man. It's fun to play. It's a cool concept. I haven't done any of the Masquerade or whatever. Um, I'm not there yet. Like, you know, my Blue Mage is leveled, but... I haven't done any of that content. If it wasn't locked by level, it might have been good. I mean, I enjoy going in and like 1,000 needled everything, right? Really early, early blue mage leveling in 14. That's what you do. And I do enjoy doing the uh, the whole like running in, freezing enemies, and then one-shotting them. That was fun too. <laughs> this is Shinra fan for? Oh my god. Anyways, um, I'm going to put it C tier. Why? Because it's not max level right now. It's not content that makes me want to log in the game to level. I mean, it's max level, but it, it I don't want to log in the game just to do blue mage stuff. Maybe one day I will, but right now, I've enjoyed what I played. But it's it's it, it's there. It's side content. Plus, the Final Fantasy XIV community loves to shit on blue mages. It's really funny to me. Can be A, because it can't level as far as everybody else. Well, that's the thing, right? There was one time, that's black mage, but I know you mean blue mage. Yeah, so you can farm really well uh, for dungeons. Like if you can do a lot of dungeon runs with just blue mages, and it's doable. But I don't know. It it's a fun gameplay, and I understand what they were going for. But to me, it's definitely not the best blue mage. Now, Final Fantasy V blue mages, and that's kind of like a spoiler for whenever we get to FF Five jobs. Um, but like, S tier. So we've done a Final Fantasy uh, 4 Draw Fiesta run twice now, and we have gotten Blue Mage in one of these runs. And let me tell you, White Wind, absolutely OP. Aqua Rake, absolutely OP. Blue Mage in Final Fantasy V, if used like properly, if you grind and you find the ma the magic, super worth. Highly recommend. Quite, quite enjoy Blue Mage. It's one of my favorite class in FF5. Although FF5 is one of my favorite Final Fantasies, so I'm kind of really biased. But Blue Mages, 10 out of 10. We almost need an S, S plus. Almost, almost. Strago, we've talked about this a little bit earlier at the start of the stream. 
I've never utilized him. Final Fantasy VI is one of the Final Fantasies I know the least about, le the least amount of, because it's one of my least favorite. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I've broken some hearts, I know. Um, because job ability works better as a sub for another job. Um, you're not wrong. Being able to, to, to use Blue Mage as a different class is also very useful. But I'm going for class functionality. I guess if we use the class as a second class, you're still using the class functionality because you still have to level blue mage to get it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to choose to keep my S rank. So yeah, so FF6, I don't really know much about Strago. I've never used I I don't use Gal, I don't use Realm, I don't use Strago, I've never really done the blue magic part of FF6. And whenever we do a Final Fantasy VI Pixel remaster a hundred percent run, which will happen at some point. Um, then I guess I will have to experience it at least a little bit, so I'll have a better opinion on that. But for now, sorry, Strago. Quistis. Well. Best girl. She's got everything. <laughs> She's got everything. Um, she can even use... One of the unique attack from the final boss of Final Fantasy VIII, Quistis can just... She can learn it. Which I'm drawing a blank on. Is it Apocalypse? Is it Shockwave? Shockwave Pulsar, right? Something like that. She can use it! Final boss of the whole game. It's like, here is my ultimate spell. Yeah! And then Quistis is like, oh yeah, I can do that too. S tier. <laughs> S tier. Dun, 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 dun. Your Kefka loving heart just broke a little. Scott, you know, you know I'm not a fan of Kefka, I'm sorry. Strago is good, but you kinda spend too much time with other characters. Yeah, like I said, once ever whenever I go and do a Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster 100 percent after we do five hundred percent um I feel like I'll have a better opinion and I you know I, I reserve the right to change my opinion over time. But uh, for now, because I don't really have any experience with the character, it's just gonna... I'm sorry. As B, his blue magic isn't anything spe special given all the other broken things in the game. Yeah. You agree with a B as well? Okay, that's fair. I, again, my experience with the character, it's not there, unfortunately. Queena? I know can eat... I know can eat till weaker. Um, I like Queena better than Kamari. I the only thing that I don't like about Queena is having to weaken the enemy, which I get it. Like eating the eating mechanic is just hilarious to me, okay? Um Queena has actually probably one of the best blue magic spell list. Angel snack absolutely fantastic that's an aoe asuna or an aoe remedy you hate learning magic with queena but that's that's why it's not s tier for me um great character i love the side quest that you get to do with queena and vivi there's a of somewhere in, in our clips somewhere there's um my first playthrough of ff9 on stream we played it twice and uh oh man what a great time that was Queen is a fantastic character, and I like the uniqueness of having to eat enemies to use their spells. It makes sense to me. It's He's like a Yoshi, but um, because you have to weaken the enemy, and you have to eat them, and then it's not something that you just... Like, you don't just randomly get hit with a spell and learn it. Um, because of that, I can't put him as... Or, or her. Or them. I can't put them as an S tier because... You don't really have as much control. You didn't mind a cat. Oh. I love the the frog catching stuff. Um, frog drop. One of the best ability in the game. There's three big abilities in Final Fantasy IX that scales with something that you need to do. There's uh, Dragon Crest, which is uh, the amount of dragons you've killed. Uh, there's Zidane's something that uh, goes with the amount of stealing you've done um and there's frog drop which is the amount of frogs you've caught 
Um, and that's why FF9 is a good favorite for mine. So Thievery, was it called Thievery? I don't remember. And then we have Final Fantasy Tactic Advances Blue Mages is also for me. I feel I, I like blue mages. Um, it's an A tier for me. I'm tempted to put it in S tier, but there's a lot in S tier already. So I'm gonna put him in A tier. It can learn roulette, okay? This blue mage knows how to use roulette. And they have a great costume, yes. This is, when you think blue mage, I think more of the Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced Sprite than I do the Final Fantasy V Sprite, personally. So I don't have anybody that's not a real um, blue mage. I feel like they're all categorized as a blue mage. I, I accept all of these. So I'm gonna zoom out here and take a quick screenshot. This is my official blue mage tier list. I told you everybody we would start with a shorter one today. I think that's fair. I'm trying to think, is there any other blue mages in Final Fantasy? There's blue magic in, oh. There's blue magic in Final Fantasy Explorer, but that, that game ba barely counts. Um, I can't think of any other major blue mage characters. 14 blue that they're glam. But you can make, you can make any glam blue mage. There's Final Fantasy Tactics Advance too. They have the same, um... Yeah, it's the same costume. Any skill in Final Fantasy 7. Any skill is just, that's the blue magic, but anybody can have it. So you don't really have like a, a dedicated blue mage like Quist is, like Kamari, like Quina. 